Hey guys, welcome back to take two of It Takes Two. So if you've never joined us before, thanks for tuning in. My name's Emily. And my name is Quinlan. It's only been um, a year and what, six months since our last podcast. So um, here we are. We're back and we're going to be better than ever. We're changing things up a little bit. We're going to be posting twice a week once we're going to do some kind of like topic lifestyle you know what you guys want to hear what we want to talk about that type of thing and then our second upload of the week is going to be more of a film review us you know watching a new movie kind of discussing what we like what we don't like what works what doesn't work and if you're listening to us on spotify right now make sure to go follow our youtube and twitter takes two pod for all of the updates we'll have some community polls up and everything like that so make sure to follow us so today our topic is going to be some cringy personality quizzes we've got a few picked out that are going to be more in the supernatural theme of what creature, what character, but then also we're going to try to do some more serious, like um, more in-depth personality quiz questions and see how that goes. So how this is going to work is we're just going to hop into these quizzes and we'll read off the questions, give some comments on our answers, uh, but we're definitely not going to be reading out all of the options because that would make this an hour long podcast and we don't want to do that to you guys. <laughs> we don't want to bore anybody with that, but you could totally follow along. We're going to post some um, visuals on the whole podcast on YouTube. So you can check that out as well. Yeah. So if you want more content than just our audio, check us out on YouTube. So the first question of our first quiz is what element would you like to control the most? They really had me going until they said nature at the bottom. It's like all of the avatar elements until <laughs> nature. Nature just is all of the elements. <laughs> I like that one too. I don't know. The, I just think when I think of the elements, I think the four, like earth, water, air, fire. I don't think metal, lightning, and nature. <laughs> like those just seem. Yeah, they really went like Legend of Korra, second generation yeah. avatar there. <laughs> And it's a little specific <laughs> for what I feel like this quiz should be. Yes. Uh, just because of that, I'm going to go with lightning because obviously I loved Mako. I'm going to go with earth, not quite nature, but earth. So the second question, would you consider yourself more feminine or masculine? I'm going to go with in the middle. After the TikTok I just posted, I don't think I'm allowed to say anything but feminine. <laughs> Go follow me on TikTok, guys, if you want really cringy TikToks. I feel like cringy TikToks are the best TikToks. I wouldn't want to watch anything else. Throwback to when we actually used to have TikTok nights and yeah. like none of those videos exist anymore. When we would spend like hours filming TikToks in our little tiny dorm bathroom and then... You never got your lights back from that bathroom, did you? No, I totally left it in there because I got kicked out. She's like, the RA texted me and said, um, you're not supposed to be here anymore. I mean, what? you did move out, but like. I okay. was there every single day. That's I was there more true. than you. <laughs> that is true. You did have my keys at that point. Yeah, exactly. No, she was like, you're not allowed to be here anymore. And so I didn't even get to finish moving out. Like I still had tons of stuff in there. Oh yeah, because you came back to get the rest of your stuff when I moved out. Yeah. This she was also was when COVID started, so, like, everybody was just, like, in utter chaos. Yeah, so I guess her reasoning might have been for that, but at that point, we hadn't been told to go home because of COVID yet. She just kicked me out, so. <laughs> they really had it out for you that semester between being fined for hanging Christmas lights and being kicked out of our dorm. <laughs> yeah, that stupid balcony. She's like, well, you were on the balcony. I was like, well, you weren't here. So how did you know? <laughs> She's like, because the lights were on the balcony. I was like, I got a ladder. And she's like, no, you didn't. And I was like, you weren't here. You were on an RA retreat. How do you know? And she's like, I just know. Fine. Did you ever have to take those down? I honestly do not remember if I ever took them down or not. 
Because when you've just been fined again for having to go for, back out. For getting back on the balcony again. Yeah, I'm like, what's the point of having a balcony if we're not allowed out there? That house was something. <laughs> okay, question number three. Do you prefer day or night? You know I'm not a morning person. I know you're not a morning person. Me? I am a morning person, for sure. And that's how you know I'm not, because I never once woke up to you getting ready. Ever. 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 <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go with both. I don't really have an answer to this question. I am going to go with day. Okay, question four. If you could, would you choose to live forever or just age slower than normal human beings? Like live for a thousand years. I'm going to go with normal aging. I don't want to be here longer than I need to be. Yeah, like I'd like to stay the same age, but I definitely don't necessarily want to live longer than a normal human lifespan. Number five, does it matter if your result might feed off of things like blood, human flesh, or emotions? I'm just going to go with, if I can eat normal food, then sure. Okay, if I can eat normal things, I really don't mind. Yeah, like, I'm fine doing what I got to do, but like... Exactly. I mean, if I couldn't eat, like, ice cream and enjoy it, what's the point? I would literally cry if I could never have my grandma's spaghetti again. Um, question six, do looks matter to you? I'm going to go with yes, because I care about my appearance too much. I'm going to go with yes as well, because I don't want to be a worm and not be able to go outside. And no one wants like, to be a shifter, so. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to be that ooey gooey shapeshifter, so. Would you kill to survive? The only yes answer kind of makes it seem uh, a little, I don't know, not like veganism or anything. <laughs> I was going to say, it gives me kind of vegan teacher vibes, not going to lie. Yeah, that's kind of what, yes, humans do it already by eating animals. So there wouldn't be a difference if I had to do it as a supernatural being. Can we just end it at yes? Literally, I, I'm picking I'm that s- one, but. I'm going with that one. Oh, well. Because I feel like all the other answers are just like. No, I'd just die because I couldn't do it. And it's like, nah, I could do it, but would I enjoy it? No. No, but if I gotta survive, I gotta survive. For real. Okay, eight. If you had a power to do anything, would you use it for good or bad? I guess a little fun never killed anybody. <laughs> that's what I'm going I with. That, I think that's a good answer. Um, but I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say good. It depends on what my powers would be, I guess. Cause like, but yeah, I guess it totally depends. But like, I'd still have a little fun. Nobody said that had to be a bad thing. Yeah, exactly. What is your lucky number? I'm gonna go with six because the numbers only go up to 10. And within that, that's what I'd pick. <laughs> good idea. I'm gonna go with seven. Holy number. Holy number. Are you confident in yourself? I'm going to go with yes. I am beautiful. (laughs) You are beautiful, Gwendolyn. Inside and out. Beautiful. (laughs) I can see some flaws, but I learned to accept and love myself for who I am. That, That sounds about right. Do you have troubles falling asleep? I like that it says if I watch scary movies or play horror video games... Nope, that's that's not an us thing at all. That is that is not a me issue. I'd be putting on Texas Chainsaw Massacre every night before I go to bed. Except they took it off Netflix. No. So, so you gotta I find know. a new comfort spooky movie. Yeah, probably Creep with Joseph, because he's creepy. Do you still have cool. Joseph? Oh I do. I hundred percent have Joseph. He lives in my closet. Uh, for all those who don't know, <laughs> Joseph is a giant stuffed sloth. Is, is he still dressed in the t-shirt? I believe so. I haven't seen him in a while. Like I said, he lives in the closet because he kind of spooks me every time I open the closet door, but I dress him up. Somewhere we should find the video, or yeah, I think it's a video that we took of him when we like dressed him up as a student and like stuck him in the hallway. <laughs> yeah, he's a life-sized like plushy sloth, so... He's literally the size of me. Yeah. We put him in skinny jeans and we put him in Converse and like we totally dressed him up. That was so much harder than it should have been. Oh, 100%. But he's huge. Like it was difficult. He is. 
Okay. Uh, yes, I have trouble falling asleep. I'm gonna go with no. Have you ever had lucid dreams or nightmares that you can't wake up from? Um, I'm gonna say that yes, I experience nightmares, but more or less my nightmares consist of like sleep paralysis majority of the time where I just can't move once I force myself to wake up. And so I'm just like, I know somebody's behind me, but I can't roll over to check type of nightmare. I feel like that's Uh, worse. (laughs) Yeah. So I'm going to go with, yes, I definitely experienced nightmares. If I have dreams, they're normally nightmares, but I do not frequently. So I'm going to go with no. Oh, moment of truth. What are our answers? I have no idea how to pronounce this. Uh oh, I want to see what yours is first. Oh, what nugget sumi? I have no idea, but it's totally Teen Wolf. <laughs> it's yep. This is not a supernatural character. I feel ripped off. That's just rude. You want to know what mine was? Yes. I got Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> I am the literal Pegasus. What do you mean by the literal Pegasus? I don't know. It says I'm a symbol of wisdom, and I come from the Middle Ages, so I'm literally the Pegasus. My favorite thing is that mine ends with the phrase, thousand years old trickster fox. Trickster fox. (laughs) Yeah, I feel like this one isn't the most accurate to me, but... Yeah. And it's not even supernatural, so that's lame. Is Pegasus... (laughs) <laughs> supernatural we just i don't have, like, think so he's not even from a tv show it's just I a pegasus it's, it's literally just a flying peg like a cartoon drawing okay i'm like looking at the actual like answers like did you scroll down like oh my gosh the other answers skinwalkers ghouls phoenix demon banshee angels genies all of these were in the show Except for a mummy and the two we got. Oh my gosh. That's messed up that we didn't even get actual supernatural characters when it was literally called a supernatural creature. I feel ripped off. So Me too. We have to do we have to go to the other one just to make up for it. Yeah, I think we have to figure out which character we are. Okay, for quiz number two, we are gonna do which supernatural character are you? Parentheses. Deep. deep so we're really gonna get into it now I bet this quotive is just like gonna shake us to our core and I mean <laughs> it's gonna be great too because this quiz literally starts out with a picture of Dean with his hands in the air going pudding so um that's how you know it's iconic it's got one of the yeah all-time most iconic Dean pictures from <laughs> one of the early seasons for sure he looks so happy too <laughs> he really does. Um, this is- yeah, with how happy he looks, that's a great um, <laughs> start. The first question is literally, what makes you happy? Okay, my favorite answer on here is obviously LARPing, because that episode is probably one of the best ever. I just, every day I could just think of new episodes, and I'm like, that was the greatest of all time, and then the next day it's like, no, the LARPing episode was even better, and then it's like, no, the like the fear disease when he got the fear sickness that was even better you know like every day I think it's something that was just tops even better and it's like this whole show is just the amount of times that my dad has quoted that episode to me where he just goes whoo that was scary <laughs> and the, like yeah he's just sitting in the car he's like but but that's like the second floor or the third floor and he's like do you want me to change it to ground floor? And he's like, yes. <laughs> that also gave us one of the most iconic Jensen Ackles videos ever, where he's just in the car singing Eye of the Tiger. Yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Literally every day I think of an episode that I'm like, nothing can top this. And then I am reminded of something else. I'm like, that. It's crazy because it's one of the best shows, I'd have to say, of all time. And not just because of, like, the character arcs and everything, but, like, even how they ended it. I've never heard a single person complain about how the show ended. Mm -hmm. And, like, a 15-year-long show for everyone to be, like, this ended the way it should have. I've never seen another show actually do that. Yeah, for sure. There's so many shows that people are like, no, I stopped after season eight. There was just too many and it just 
didn't wasn't interesting anymore it's like anybody who's seen the show has seen the show they've watched it yeah and it I feel like it almost like got better at the end too versus like I love sight but the last season is not my favorite this show mm-hmm. kept the intensity and the trajectory because they knew what they were going for yeah For sure. Okay, now I guess the question is, what are our real answers to this? My real answer is definitely going to be watching classic movie franchises. I'm going to have to go with cruising around in your car, because we all know that I am obsessed with cars. (laughs) (laughs) We will be Lambros, okay? I'm going to make that photo happen one day. Lambros. Ever since you made me watch that, we were going to buy Lambros posters for our dorm. We are going to get a Lambros picture one day. I will get, I will figure out how to get us two Lamborghinis for us to take a Lambros photo. Just, just a photo op at least. (laughs) I mean, like it would be great to like get us matching Lamborghinis, but I feel like I could get us a picture with two Lamborghinis a little bit easier. Yeah, that's true. So for question number two, what is the one thing you can't live without? I'm just going to have to go with the classic, your favorite book slash TV show. I mean, that's literally like the quiz we're taking is we couldn't live without Supernatural. So I'm going to have to agree. Okay. (laughs) I love pictures of Dean eating sandwiches. I just think it makes it a hundred times better looking at these photos at the same time. It really does. I almost got us a quiz that was just um, reacting to Supernatural memes. (laughs) That would be so weird. (laughs) Okay. What is your favorite food? Okay. I think I know what I have to pick. What are you going with? I have to pick pizza because the pizza man usually comes around my house. (laughs) For our audio listeners, um, that's specifically what this answer says. None of the others have parentheses or anything, but that's what this one says. And if you don't know the pizza man, you're missing out. If you don't know the pizza man, what are you doing? It's the pizza man. (laughs) I'm just gonna have to go with the classic cheeseburger. That's my favorite. We have been talking about cheeseburgers a lot. That's true. I couldn't live without my cheeseburgers. Okay, question okay. four. Do you care what people think about you? Um, no. I'm gonna go with who cares what people think of me. I know I'm better than them. And I know that sounds really <laughs> cocky because earlier I also said, yes, I'm confident, beautiful inside and out. But I'm just kind of in a little cocky mood today I guess you know you pop off Quinlan you've always been one of the most confident people I know so (laughs) okay I'm gonna go what are we going with I'm going with no as well but I'm going with the if they badmouth my family they're gonna get it because I will fight you but like I don't care what you have to say about me yeah yeah no exactly that you have your limits you're like oh me I don't care you talk bad about my friends my family you're gonna get it <laughs> I say that You're like I can actually yeah. fight anyone I talk like I can fight I cannot fight terrifying as a baby penguin <laughs> size of a baby penguin <laughs> yeah like as, as terrifying as an angry little penguin like what <laughs> what do you do with that what do you do with that <laughs> At least that means I'm kind of adorable, though, so I'll yeah, take it. that's perfect. Also, just, like, as athletic as a baby penguin. Mm-hmm. Found out I'm really bad at somersaulting today. Gonna give no context to that, but that's what I found out. <laughs> <laughs> Who even needs to do a somersault? <laughs> well, okay, that's a weird fact about me. My entire life, I've only been able to do backwards somersaults. I can still do that. I have never been able to do a forward somersault. <laughs> The thing that most people can do, but most people don't backwards. <laughs> yeah. But Emily can, so. Yes, I can. <laughs> There's a reason I don't sport. <laughs> no, not the single man tier. It is the single man tier. Retract everything before. This is the most iconic episode. The Supernatural musical. Honestly. It is. But it's, it's funny because it's like no one's favorite episode. But everyone loves it and it's iconic. Yeah. Like when they forget Adam and they realize they're like, <laughs> who's that guy? And then they're like, oh, our brother. <laughs> I know. It, I can't believe it took them so long to come full circle on that. On that one? Yeah. Yeah. That was. That took a long time. He literally just, he was gone. He was just in hell for they just like left him in hell 15 for years. They're like, 
he's not our brother. <laughs> like they would lit- they've literally gone to hell and back for each other multiple times, Sam and Dean for each other. But you know, Adam, eh. Oops. So, like he's our brother, but he's not. Question five. Do you show emotion? I'm gonna go with I care more about how other people are feeling rather than my own emotions, because that's my unfortunate coping mechanism. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say when I reach a breaking point, I will cry. <laughs> My single man tear, I'll cry. Because you don't you don't hit that point often. No. No. Okay. Favorite item of clothing with the uh picture of the classic supernatural 2012 Pinterest board. I would just base my outfits on these like literally every day. I had a, a Dean shirt that I wore to high school probably like at least every couple of weeks that said no chick flick moments. It was Dean's face. And I wore that with a plaid flannel literally every day. Every time I wore that shirt iconic yep that, that it was it was i probably have most of these items still in my closet that are in this picture sport <laughs> <laughs> including including the god necklace do you still have that <laughs> I, why would you get rid of it is a better question yeah why the, ch- the, why the would like you? the rope definitely doesn't turn your neck black like no <laughs> no no not at all <laughs> not at all <laughs> these are not items no. of clothing these are just adjectives about a uh, outfit <laughs> yeah it's like descriptions like anything bright like that's not a favorite item I'm gonna go with anything black even though that's not a favorite item but that's probably my go-to for everything is anything black I'm gonna go with a flannel because we all know I love a good oversized flannel <laughs> it's fall pumpkin spice is back that's just our personality is fall is fall we are fall babies so yeah exactly i literally went shopping for decor today for halloween and fall decor so this is why i got you halloween themed things for your birthday (laughs) exactly i mean i wouldn't want it any other way that's the one thing i realized i'm missing from being in the northwest right now is i don't miss dutch necessarily but i miss the pumpkin dutch drink for fall because i think it's better than a pumpkin spice latte they literally just sent out an email a couple days ago about how they got their caramel pumpkin brulees back and i'm waiting tomorrow we're going and i'm getting one <laughs> oh i miss i miss that so much the pumpkin the caramel pumpkin brulee cold brew yeah my go-to fall drink i miss that so much i know i've I'm missing it and I actually can have it because <laughs> it's uh, it's like five minutes down the road you know oh I can at <laughs> least get one when I come for my cousin's wedding oh yeah for sure I I'm gonna make my dad pick me up from the airport and then immediately just drive to Dutch you're like no thoughts no thoughts just, just, just pumpkin <laughs> you're like dad I don't care if we're gonna be late I need a pumpkin gold brew I like that they didn't change the picture for this one they just ran out of ran out of stock photos which three words best describe you? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go with determined, cheeky, and cool. <laughs> you know, I think you're a pretty cheeky person, Gwendolyn. I, I think I am. The I cheekiest. I the cheekiest of cheeky is me, like, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? What are we picking? Okay, I think I'm going to go with sympathetic, kind, and focused. I, I could describe you those ways for sure. Depends on the day. Some days, but <laughs> I can see focused some days, most days, but <laughs> it, it's more task based than because yeah. <laughs> in general, no, I like to say that I choose chaos just on my everyday uh-huh. life. We have one left. Would you sacrifice yourself? <laughs> I'd um, like. I'd like to think yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think it totally depends on who the person is, who the person is, what the situation is. The situation is a big one because it's like, is like, the world do ending? Know, do I know they're going to live if I sacrifice myself? They might, a killer might just turn around and kill them too. Yeah, like, is it guaranteed? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. But yes, in theory, I'd like to think I'm a good person. I would sacrifice myself. What are our results? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I am the main character. I already knew it. So, and I'm the other main character, as <laughs> we uh, knew. That's perfect. I'm Dean Winchester, obviously. And obviously, I'm Sam. Obviously. 
So okay, our I'm results. Very proud of that. Should we read them a little bit or? I guess we should, because honestly, like we're joking about this, but when you like, it's very true when you read it that we are we Sam are, and Dean. Yeah, when you read it, it <laughs> totally makes sense. So it tells me I'm, you are tough, determined, and incredibly focused when there's a job at hand. There are two sides to you. You can be living your best life, eating your favorite food and hanging out with your friends and family, or you can sometimes be in a difficult place and try to hide it from the people you love, even though they can see right through you. You never want to be the center of attention and will always care more about others than yourself. It's you're definitely, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're definitely sometimes a hard nut to crack, but you share your, you have your fair share of nerdy, crazy, and excitable moments. And also, chick flick moments so I think I think that pretty that pretty much sums it up that's a pretty good act like accurate what you call it accurate result for sure yeah no that's like the perfect description of you like <laughs> actually like just your personality yeah like who this quiz was deep it totally got me. it totally it knew it's better than some of the actual like personality tests we've taken <laughs> Where they like tell you like you're an introvert, extrovert, the INTP, JXK, Enneagram two type of thing, you know? Oh my gosh, Enneagram had such a chokehold on college for so long. For so many people. Because we did it kind of like as a joke and it was funny because I don't remember which way we are, but we were like, one of us was six wing seven and the other one was like seven wing six or something. It was like the exact opposite, but the same. Yeah, it was like same, just adjacent to each other. And we're like, yeah, that makes sense. (laughs) For sure. Okay, so mine as Sam, I'm focused, sympathetic, and manage to get along with almost everyone I meet. All in all, you're an incredibly decent human being and very intelligent. You read lots of books and gain a lot of knowledge from them, especially on topics that interest you. Even though sometimes you may get angry, you won't take it out on other people. And you give good advice when people go through similar things to you. Sometimes you may feel like people in your life try and hold you back, but in the end, you are your own person and you do make big decisions independently with also support from people close to you. (laughs) Here's the very accurate part and I feel a little called out for. Mm -hmm. You aren't the wildest member of the group and you don't have the most outgoing personality, but your charm, loyalty, and sense of humor and your drive to do anything for the people you love makes you an extremely loved person back (laughs) It kind of like calls you out there, but I think it's still a great, great description. I feel like it's accurate. I just like I know I'm not the wildest person because my friends a lot of times want to go out at like eight or nine, and I'm like, okay. You're like I'm a grandma, <laughs> literally, and like our college town did not like help that because no, like not you couldn't all. even get coffee that late, so it was just us hanging out in my living room, and then you guys would go home around eleven after we'd play Mario Party. Yeah, because like what else are you supposed to do in a town that closes at freaking sundown? Literally, it's like eight p.m. and everything's closed. Makes sense. Definitely, We're also just grandmas in general, you. but yeah, yeah, I didn't prep you for the for the LA life. That's for sure. <laughs> Goodness, and it's so sad because like my favorite place to go out. I say that like I've only been out to like a handful of places around here, but my favorite place so far it doesn't open till ten. So like we showed up at like. 10 30 one night and we were like oh I wonder if this just like isn't a good spot because there was no one there there was like was one dead. other dude just like walking around the different dance floors like hanging out and we're like this dude's a little weird and oh, then yeah, kind of sketch. <laughs> like an hour later it was the most packed place I've ever been oh geez yeah that's crazy I kind of want to make one of these quizzes now just to see like how on the back end you make this work yeah yeah that'd be interesting but that feels like Are it would you? take a long time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, with this one, like, with the last quiz they did with that many results, how did they <laughs> get Literally. all of this? I'm honestly surprised I've never made one of these because, like, <laughs> I spent the entirety of AP Calculus my senior year of high school just taking quizzes. Like, I was mentally not there for that. <laughs> I was just taking quizzes. <laughs> Literally. That's so funny. I sat in the back. I may be a math person. Do not give me calculus. It doesn't it count. Senior year. Oh, well, who cares? <laughs> that too. It was like spring semester, senior year. I was checked out. <laughs> You're like done. Yeah. 
I yeah, was like, I couldn't imagine. No, no. <laughs> I mean, I did take calculus too my senior year, but I barely passed that class, <laughs> and I got college credit for it. But so, <laughs> yeah, I really phoned that one in. I don't know if I got college credit for it. So now that we know that we are actually the Sam and Dean Winchester in real life, and this quoted quiz has confirmed that for us, I think that we should probably call it here and, you know, end on that note. There's nothing for else, else for us to say. So make sure, guys, you're following us on Spotify. Give us five stars. Follow us on Twitter at takes Two pod and check out our YouTube as well. All of that helps us out, guys, and stay connected with the podcast because we will be giving regular updates and we will be posting regularly from now on. (laughs) That is our promise. So (laughs) regular scheduled activities from now on. So with that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Cub Scout.